We have a special meeting this time where we have brought, well, large majority of the concierge team <laughs> to join us. We're missing a few heads. Uh, but before we'll begin, we'll go ahead and uh, introduce ourselves. And we'll start from the uh, all the way to the right. And starting with you, Kit. Just want to say hi to everyone. Hi, I'm Kit Linden. <laughs> oh, what else should I put in there? Uh, then we have uh, Izzy. How you doing, Izzy? Doing wonderful. How about you, Hicks? Doing awesome. And Whitney. Again, thank hi, you hi. Both of you here. That's a treat. Well, we're going to get all sorts of mainland news today. <laughs> I'm kidding. And then you guys should see her right behind me, sort of, Evie. How you doing, Evie? Hi. I'm Evie. I'm on the concierge side. And Ellie? How you doing, Ellie? Hey, guys. I'm Ellie, and I'm doing pretty good today. And Eveline, thanks for coming. I'm happy to be here. Hi. Yeah. Hey, Mint just dropped in. Hey, Mint. Hi, I'm Mint Linden, and I am also very happy to be here. And of course, Wendy at the edge, as always. Glad to have you here, Wendy. I am always on the edge, yes, that's correct. <laughs> and of so course, never... Vic's in the middle. Yeah. So we always keep the floor open for questions. Um, we'll both answer in both text and uh, and audio. So if you have a headset, you can put it on. We're speaking there. Um, but you can also, if you don't have audio, you can go ahead and type it out in the local chat, and we'll be happy to respond there as well. Wendy, did you want to kick it off with the uh, Linden Home News? Helps if I press okay, that I'll button, doesn't it? Uh, sure. Um, as you know, we, we launched the um, chalets a while back, and we're still adding others. Uh, we just added a fair number of stilt homes uh, recently. Uh, the style's proven to be quite popular. It's one of the most popular right now. Um, however, uh, you'll probably be seeing a preview coming up for the next theme before too much longer. Um, can't say anything. Don't know what it is. Even if I did, I couldn't say. Um, but uh, it should be pretty exciting when it does come up. Um, and uh, if you don't have one and you're interested in getting a Linden home, um, you can get those from the website, usual place, uh, which is and of course, all of the the first edition uh, Linden homes in the Meadow Brooks and so forth, those also still remain. Uh, there's uh, no current plans to get rid of those. Um, we might eventually, but there's certainly no plans right now. Um, so all of those are available. And then uh, I'm going to also uh, jump in with one more little topic because I like to do that. And that's SL18B, which is coming up um, next month from June 17th to July 1st. The theme is Hidden Worlds this year. Um, all of the applications for performers, shop and hop, um, executors uh, or exhibitors, those are already uh, closed. Uh, exhibitors are being contacted this week. I think they started to uh, put out the parcels yesterday with everyone, possibly the day before. Um, there are still applications up for volunteers, and that's open through the 28th, so coming up in two days. If you want to volunteer to greet or do other things at the event, uh, feel free to check out that Earl. I uh, know exhibitors exhibitors is already closed. Uh, you should already start being contacted pretty soon.
I'm sorry I didn't make it. Um, hopefully, maybe there'll be something come up, I hope, because I know you've done a couple of really interesting ones the last couple of years. Um, there will be uh, more information coming up on the blog for SL18B. Uh, feel free to check out uh, the featured news blog, which is at here. That's fair enough. Gives you more time for uh, SL19B. But uh, that'll be coming up pretty soon, so you'll see a lot more news on that on the blog coming up. Any questions on either of those on Linden Holmes or SL18B? Hidden Worlds is the theme. Could mean both. I probably would lean towards the latter, but um, actually, I'd really like to see the former, to be quite honest. Um, but uh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Blank, blank parcel and just say it's hidden. That would be the emperor's new new parcel. <laughs> I see what you did there. In April Fool's Linden home theme. <laughs> there were never really any parcels there to begin with. <laughs> as as if we didn't already have the April Fool's uh, Linden home theme. I'm not sure. Uh, we didn't talk about that last time, but yeah, the the block homes that uh, that Patch put up, Patch and the Moles put up. I'm still waiting on the Linden apartments, right? With the contact pack, you get a, a bowling ball that you can drop on your neighbors and all the crazy kids, you just res out and they just bang all the walls. That would be awesome. Any chance for bags of holding for uh, Linden homes at some point, maybe? <laughs> it's uh, 3,000 uh, prims, I think, that can be held on it. <laughs> <laughs> 40,000, 40,000, my bad. A whole region inside one bag of holding. So I'll go over a couple of the uh, issues that you guys are well aware of that we're uh, constantly monitoring. And we'll start with uh, group chats. So right now we're still actively reviewing reports of uh, group chat failures and reporting them to the engineers. If you are experiencing an issue with chat, try to provide us with the group name, a uh, specific issue you encountered with the chat, like, for example, it failed to initialize when you tried to open, and when you most recently experienced the trouble. Uh, this is going to help us narrow down what the underlying cause is and find a solution. So we can go ahead and nip this one in the bud. Um, you can also join the discussion on our forums to provide feedback on the failures and uh, even provide some insights as to how we can improve uh, group chat in the uh, future. Let me go ahead and drop the forum thread here. Anyone experience uh, any group chat issues recently since we're all here? Yes, that's definitely easy. <laughs> we'll just keep it between us. You can see all the things Vic starts. Exactly. See, I just, this is all I do. I just alley up the ball, and everyone slams it. Yeah, but we definitely like to get it uh, calmed down and get it working uh, as expected again. So it's definitely a uh, area of focus. All 
as in the search engine prof key? Thanks, Gus. Uh, when you do, go ahead and report it uh, to us using the uh, channels you have available through your support dashboard. Um, yeah, we would like to know any and all issues right now, and uh, just kind of following the uh, the criteria we're looking for. You know, the examples like um, the type of problem, when you experience it, also the group name. Obviously, we need to know uh, which group was affected. And you can just send that over to us, and um, we'll definitely catalog it, send it up, and um, make sure we can go ahead and get this whole thing resolved. Thank you. And the next one is Aditi. So right now we are still having issues with copying and resyncing accounts to Aditi since uplift, as well as issues with login failures to the beta grid. Um, as with group chat, this is still ongoing, um, but you can follow the issue in our status blog and also subscribe to the issue right here. We'll do our best to uh, keep it updated. Uh, sadly, we don't have an ETA for fix, um, but we're definitely well aware of it, and um, you know, we'll keep on it. You can reach out to us, Timon, for that one, and um, we'll work with you to see if we can uh, find a way to uh, retrieve it. Yeah, we've seen similar issues to that. Just drop us a line. We'll take a look at it for you. Any questions so far? Group chat to DD login. Um. I heard someone. That was the whole question. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be the shortest question we've had either. <laughs> Sure, Profki. What was your question on it? Hey, Dottie, saw you come in. Welcome. Come join us up here. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Welcome, Dottie. See, I knew I kept out that spare chair for a reason. Now I'm starting to think Dottie just didn't like us anymore. Whether or not she likes us doesn't matter. 
Profsky, if you can drop your specific Sorry. into a ticket and send it over to us, uh, we'll see how best to uh, send it up for review. But we know, yeah, search can be a little inconsistent at time, in times. Yeah, we're, we're aware of it. But we're happy to look at specifics and see if there's anything we can do. Okay, um, I have one for mainland. Ask away. Um, so, are you, does there have to be a certain amount of land that you hold in order to be able to deed a group to the land? No, you can go ahead and deed any size parcel uh, to group. It's just that it needs, you need to make sure that either you have the available and you check mark a lot owner uh, to make contribution with deed, or the group has to already have the available for it to work. Okay, and so. If the group already has the available, make sure you click the buy for group button, because if you don't, it's going to put you over to your. Yeah, if you're purchasing it, yeah, definitely use buy for group instead of uh, buy. Okay, so it's an era where I, it's land that I already own, and I went to deed it to the group, and it said something, of, it, it gave me some sort of error that won't allow it, so there's something I have to change within the group itself. The first Your thing group I would might check already is, be under tier. Right. First, go go to the group profile and then to the Land and Lindens tab and see what it says about the available uh, uh, meters. If, it, if that's a negative number, somebody in the group is going to need to increase their donation. If it's at zero, then all you need to do is make sure that you check mark the owner uh, makes contribution with deed, and that will automatically raise your uh, contribution by the amount necessary for that parcel. Okay, thank you. Yeah, if you still have issues, shoot me the group name and message. I'll take a look at it for you. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely, Tark. I'm going to jump in here for a moment. Just uh, um, as mentioned last month, uh, map tile generation is restored. Uh, the map is functional again. Uh, we've been making some additional um, improvements on that uh, to increase the frequency of new map tile generation. Um, and we're still working through a couple other issues with them, but for the most part, um, it's back to working as it was. Actually, a little bit better than it was before, because uh, even before the uplift, uh, we were seeing issues with uh, the images going away when you moved out different different uh, visibility levels. So that should be looking a little bit better. Uh, one thing I was going to mention, though, on them as well, because um, we've seen this come in a couple of times since the... Uh, the change to the map tiles. Um, if you have a region and you know it looks like there isn't a map tile being generated, you're just seeing like a a solid color, um, you know, like a green or a tan or something. That might actually not be a failure of the map tiles. That could be a case where you have a sculpted region surround or a sim surround um, that is um, around your region. Those can sometimes, because of the bounding on them or the, the physical shape of the object, you'll see those um, get rendered by the map tile generator as its full shape. Um, and we saw that before, but it had been a while, and I think a lot of people didn't know that or had forgotten about that. So that's what you'll end up seeing when you see these you know, solid green or solid tan when you expect to see the landscape. Um, you can take those off to, to get the map tile to update. But again, it's every day, so it's going to go back once you put it back. Um, but that way you know what's going on with that. And if you're not sure um, how the tile's supposed to look and you've taken a good look at it, you can always reach out to us and we'll help. 
Indeed. Chippy, I think I have a good idea what that might be. Um, there's a fairly obscure um, bug that can come up that uh, where you'll have an item that you have previously sat on that um, did not properly release your seating. Um, the difficult part of that is you have to kind of go one by one through objects that you have on the region that have sits. Um, and reset them or remove them and re-res them. Uh, but that will solve the issue. Um, if you'd like, um, if, if you have a ticket number, I'd love to take a look at it and, uh, you know, see if there's anything that I can find on it. Yeah, that's another issue. Sometimes when you do a sim surrounds, that can also interfere. Um, but yeah, uh, Go ahead and uh, pass me your ticket number when you can. I'll take a take a peek as well. See if there's anything I can help on. And a quick thing on that with mega prims and also the region surround prims. Oftentimes it's just that something didn't go properly, and if you pick it up and put it right back down, it'll suddenly work. Hey, Chipmunk. Um, yeah, if you're having a problem with your region and you haven't been able to get it resolved, I mean, definitely send us a line and uh, we'll be more than happy to uh, take a look and see what's happening. You shouldn't have to w wait that long and experience trouble. Um, you know, support, we're definitely here. Um, okay. Definitely okay, Izzy, you're familiar with that sim. Wendy's familiar with it. Ethan's familiar. A bunch of you lenders are so familiar with that sim. It's been a problem since day one. And so far, the only solutions we have come up with is the last but not least, and we don't want to do it yet. Can you guys actually mirror all my stuff that's on that sim right now and just place down a new sim and just place all my junk back down on it? Because I don't want to pick all that up and lose it. We're talking about 13 years worth of stuff. And some of the stuff that's on this sim, the people are now passed away. I'll never get it back because it's in their name, not my name. But they gave it to me. Can that be done? So one problem with that one, Chipmunk, is the region is based off of the software that's saved and the host that it uh, is, uh, loads onto. Every time you restart the region, the host changes, so it really is just the information that's saved. So picking it up and saving it on another uh, host is the same thing that happens when you restart the region, so that probably won't actually fix the problem. Because we all discovered that, I think it was you, Izzy, that discovered that it was not centered right. Something was done off kilter. And you said the last option that we have is actually take everything up and blow up the sim and put a brand new one down. And my problem is if I did that, I have no problem doing that, but the problem is I have stuff on there that, that is real old. And... 
a gift was given to me, and it's in that person's name, but that person's no longer alive. They died of cancer. I'm heavily involved with Relay for Life, and they passed away from cancer. I'll never get the item back. Now, my question would be, if I give you the name of the item, will you be able to get that item to me, be able to pick it up yourselves and hold on to it and give it back to me, or is it gone forever? That's the question. I would suggest putting that into a support ticket so that we, uh, the concierge team can actually dig into the specifics of it. I haven't dealt with uh, concierge region performance issues in a couple of years, so I'm probably a little out of date on that situation, but give them the information so they can look into the current specifics to give you a better answer. Well, so this is the, my suggestion. Well, here's the answer. Your ticket is still being looked into. <laughs> That's the answer I get all the time. It's still open. I just try to fix something that's been broken for a while. I'm just trying to fix a situation. What are my ticket numbers? Uh, let me go to my dashboard and I'll get them then. Any other questions before we hit on the uh, our last remaining topics? I think there's a question on um, um, traffic from Twark. I don't think we'll be able to provide an answer for that here, Torque. Uh, not to sound like a broken record, but uh, definitely I would put in a support ticket and we'll see what we can do for it. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not all that well versed on that system. Thank you, Daddy. Piper, usually there will be, uh, they will usually respond um, in the JIRA um, right. as far as it being accepted or, or any other, you know, they might redirect you to support if it's a case that's better handled through that or, um, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll usually put something in the JIRA uh, itself to, 
to give you some feedback on it. Yes, you'll see certain types of jurors um, will actually have discussions going on back and forth between residents and the developers asking for information. So, yep, you'll you'll see answers or implies, and um, you some you'll be able to reply yourself and add in information you found. Profki, we're, we're not a part of the uh, review process for the destination guide. Um, you can put a list of the questions that you couldn't find answers for from the FAC into an email and send it to editor at Linden Lab. Um, yeah, since we're not a part of that function, we really couldn't answer any of the uh, questions on how they determine and some of the more specifics uh, that you're looking for related to destinations. Yeah, the closest I could say on that is to make sure that it's a, uh, you know, follow the directions in the FAQ on it and uh, try to provide the best photo and the best description. But that's not really saying much because we don't handle that specifically. We don't have any news about the new VP of Engineering, Profki, sorry. Stronger foes with his... I wanted to touch on a topic that we've uh, brought up also few months. Uh, it's the friending and groups issue. Some of you are familiar with it. Um, so we're still monitoring this one. Uh, right now we're still seeing some issues with friending and group inviting offline residents. Uh, basically an offline resident may get their friend request or group invite, but it'll silently fail. Uh, while right now this is currently being worked on, we do suggest making sure both accounts are logged in in order for the friend request or group invites to function properly. And we have a couple of JIRAs I want to share with you guys. This one is for the friend request. And this one is for the group. Are we going to get more group space? Not that I'm aware of, but uh, if any news comes out regarding that, it would definitely be put on uh, the featured news blog. Well, I keep on running. That. I keep on running out of group space. I suspect that we've all run out of group space many times over at this point. Well, I'm, I, well, the reason why I'm asking that is because some of us belong. See, I have to every after relate for life is all done with, and SLB 18, I have to drop out of those groups all the time to keep my other groups. I'm always giving up a group for something else that I always have. And it's just like, well, can you do it? Can, is there such thing as a, can Linda Labs do a thing such as a ghost group? Where you could put them in a ghost shadow box or something? Hmm, might be an interesting uh, feature request. Especially when it comes up to Relay for Life and to SLB 18. And I'm a premium member. Um, but I was just wondering, uh, could something like something could be done so that, you know, we still belong to the group, but we don't lose our group. It's just put into a, you know, like we put it into a cloud or something within SL. We don't lose our status. That's an interesting idea. I know we've gotten an increase in group amount 
like since I started at least. But yeah, I, I often run into the issue where I have to delete a, a group for another group. It happens sometimes. It would be nice to have something like that, some sort of cloud feature. Especially when my sim is an educational sim and, you know, you're just trying to keep the, your groups together and you're always running out of something. And guess what's dropped? Relay for Life has to drop. Then every year you got to bring it back and you drop something else. Then you have to drop something else. That's why I was asking. Yeah, exactly. What Dottie said is uh, that might be a good feature request, Jira. Um, there may be some other options. So, you know, that would be something, a good place to put that and have that discussed. I'm, I'm talking about those. I've seen it. It's those that have been in SL for so long. And they've been in these groups for so long. They're always going to drop something for something. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the new ones that come in and they go, oh, I want to be in this group because it's got these many members. I want to be here. I want to be there. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the long time, you know. That's just an idea. I'll send it in. Any other questions or uh, things anyone wants to bring up? Um, Biggest for bears. Um, <laughs> I just made a new bear if anyone wants it. <laughs> hey, I do. I do. Just message me. I'll send it on over. Who is it? Evie or? Yeah, it's Evie. Okay. I don't know why I raised my hand in real life. <laughs> Too bad we can't actually like throw the bears around at everybody. That would be awesome. Just bears flying everywhere. See, what I need to do is just come in early, put a box under everybody's chairs, and then say at the same time, look under your chairs, and it just springs out. That would be awesome. I can teleport you into the water. Thank you very much. We have yeah, to that teach, would be awesome. We have to teach <laughs> Izzy like to listen the prims on his bear so they're not so high and prim. <laughs> <laughs> I remember I made those bears way back in the day. But do you, have a new, do you have a new bear, Izzy? No. I haven't made a new bear since I think 2010. I need to like do that one of these days, but Lauren team keeps me very busy. Lucy, I have a solution for that. Instead, I will say, everyone gaze under the seat of which you are seating. There we go. I don't know how to seating. Under which you are sitting. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm your bear class. I am opera. I wouldn't do that to you, Torque. I wouldn't want you to pay the taxes on that. Alright, I got another okay. question. I want to change my treehouse to a new treehouse. What am I going to do? Your treehouse? Yeah, on Ta I live on Talus. My Linden home is on Talus. It's a treehouse. But I want I don't want to be living in the ground. I found the treehouse empty near my treehouse. Can I just move over into that one? Nobody lives next door. Yeah, we can't assign those, unfortunately. They're done randomly by the system. So how can I get to, to abandon it and then go back into the uh Linden Home selection page and choose a new one. But it as Whitney said, um you might be assigned to a location you're not familiar with because the system is assigning the locations randomly. Oh, and then my eyes just stay in the ground. I know that you can you can abandon and then um, request a new home. I think it's at least five times a day. So you could essentially just do that until you find one that you like. Well, I live right on a cliff right next to the water. It's Linden Water. And the house I want is right next door to me. It's been empty now for almost a year. That's the one I want. 
Yeah, and remember, if you do abandon the one that you currently have, uh, there's no guarantee that you could get it back. Right. Okay. Of course, you could make an alt and have it be premium and get a uh, uh, try for that. That's double membership now. Come on. Now, Izzy, that's a great idea. Now, tell everybody, what kind of premium perks would you get with this membership? <laughs> that's a consummate question. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, I'm glad you put that over. Well, let me tell you, folks, we have a great deal for you. Now, if, if we could just show everybody here. No, I'm just, uh, Now, Kit, that was great, except for the fact that Evelyn has a much better announcer voice. <laughs> Billy Mays. <laughs> I am normally drafted to do the uh, please get out of the store announcements when I used to work in retail. So that makes sense. Oh, just wait till Daddy needs you to record a new message for the uh, answering machine. Oh gosh, I used to do that at my old job, <laughs> recording yeah. the little virtual receptionist. That's yeah. A shame. It, oh, good. I was about to say, especially on Christmas, that was the only time we really had people leave, and so we we recorded a little message and played it, and was like, "Please, please leave. Thank you. We would like to do Christmas now." <laughs> Yeah, TJ also does absolutely amazing voices on his last job uh, for support, God, almost two decades ago now. Um, they actually let him answer the phone as Yoda one day. Wonder I'm actually running maintenance in just at the moment because there's a group notice that went out that said it's down for maintenance at the moment, or is it because you're all here? I was just gonna say, who's answering the Linden? Who's answering the phone at, at the phones? No, I'm I'm actually there. It's just a cardboard cutout of me, though. <laughs> <laughs> and Torque, that was just you a second ago, wasn't it? Thank you, pardon. What was it? Yeah. Okay. I have to, I have to change. Forget Kit. Forget Evelyn. You have the perfect announcer voice. You know, I was going to say it, but I'm glad you said it first. I'm happy to leave a message after the tone if that's what you want. <laughs> I'll send you the text, you send me the voicemail, and I'll record it and use that as my message. Yeah, one second. I'm going to get my phone ready here because I'm going to set you up to record for me on my personal phone. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it live. I've got to run it through the wash first. <laughs> oh, Dottie, I need you a bear. Oh, I gotta get Dottie's bear. Now, before anyone asks, I do not have a bear, even though I've been here for almost three years because I am such a perfectionist with this thing. I really should just be like, I should just get it done, as opposed to thinking, how can I make this even more better and perfecting over it with my OCD on that thing? <laughs> Kit, Kit, you need a bear, because I'll tell you why. <laughs> oh, I, I know why, and I feel garbage that I have not gotten it done. Because am... those that are in... Those that are in Relay for Life, they go around looking for Linden Bears, and they use them during Relay for Life. Well, my goal is actually to hopefully have it done before the end of June, is what my current goal is. Of course, you know, got to help everybody else out and everything like that. So between when I have a free moment to work on it, because, you know. I sense a retro ROM goal. <laughs> yeah, same, same for me. <laughs> we open that thing. <laughs> uh, actually, well, I, I make too many bears. So if you all check in with me, I don't know, every four months, I probably have a new one. <laughs> so Kawashima, actually, funny thing about that, that's exactly what mine is trying to be made into, which is why it's also been taking a while. Yeah, I've been with the lab for 14 years, and I think I only have six pairs. Wow, that is atrocious, Izzy. I cannot believe I look up to you. Yes, but one's chocolate, so <laughs> it makes up for a lot. <laughs> I you think and I, I have this have... done professionally. I think I have like 18 bears that I've made over time. Some of them are not as great uh, oh my as they were when I first started. But I made a little birthday one I give out at the SLB every year. Aww, I, that's cute. I, uh, I have some Linden bears from the original Lindens that are no longer with Linden Labs. 
But hear me out. When you have less, like one, it makes it that much more rare. I'm like that beanie baby that everyone used to have back in the day. It's like, this is going to be worth thousands one day. <laughs> hey, I only got one. That's all. That's all y'all are getting out of me. Just one. Heck yeah. See, once I start taking more of the classes on how to uh, make these things look pop and fresh, then I'll be able to start pumping them out. How did you get a, a linden trading card? I have the crafting card. ability of a three-year-old, so... It's the same. I've got the crafting ability on a 3D perspective, more to do dimensional where I can draw and stuff like that. But when it comes to the 3D realm, I'm kind of, unfortunately, a little... Ugh. It's okay in the same way. Art school did not teach me too much in the uh, 3D development area. Tell you what, I'll sculpt it out of clay, and if we can find a way to bring it digitally into Second Life, I'm all for that, because then, then I'll make it rock. I think there actually is a way to do that. Okay, who's yes. that called Mesh Upload. Is Blondin still around? Is Eowyn? I can do Blood no, Mesh. I'm not to about actually, but to again. be fair... There are actual free programs that can scan physical objects and turn them into meshes. In fact, the yep. gaming industry uses them quite often. Yeah. You get that for terrain and things of that nature. So um, it's not very off to think that you can actually have some kind of object scanned and brought in as a piece of blender. Just food for thought. Or okay, go ahead and I'll get on you. Take pictures of it, send them to Evie with a box of cookies as a bribe, and maybe she'll make it for you. But I want to learn how to do it too. <laughs> I don't know if Evie has that much patience, Kit. That's when you watch and learn by observing. Well, my wife is working on thing. stuff in Blender, and she's doing stuff for VR, so I'm like, like, okay, now I just need to watch you and learn from this. I mean, good thing for you, I have a whole bear workshop like Santa in my private area, so just come use the bear workshop. I really wish I didn't lose Photoshop before I moved. Because I was planning for that so I could actually start laying out the UV maps and everything for this bear. But anyway, point is, end of June is the goal. Got it. Out of all of these limits, there's only one quiet one that's mint. Oh, don't get him started. He'll, he'll go forever. Really? Yeah, we, we muted him intentionally. No. <laughs> uh, well, I was going to ask him whatever happened to find my hijacked item that somebody, he was on a case. Somebody stole an item from me and won't give it back to me. I was just wondering what happened to it. Welcome, Torque. It was in the, uh, uh, the community forum in the uh, uh, server update on technology. Is there still a Linden Bank in, in SL? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I can remember, remember you go to Linden Banks in SL? Mm -mm -mm. Linden Tree to get free money off the tree if you were a newbie? <sighs> you can still find the occasional uh, money tree out there, but yeah, those are few and far between nowadays. Those, those were a while back. Yeah, but we can't get money for it because we're too old. <laughs> you know. I mean, you're going to create that alt for that, <laughs> for that new tree house. You could run around and find one. Well, I got 42 <laughs> alts. They're all animals. So I guess I could just bring more. Tell me oh where it is. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I got gator ball. I got gator balls. I got gang of goats. I mean, a ton of goats. Can I ask a question about abuse reports? I also have a question directly you after can, her, if but, you don't mind. Uh, abuse reports tend to be covered better in the governance meeting, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, we we might be able to give some general ideas, but... Well, we, me and several other residents on the Sim have been doing abuse reports for the last year about one particular resident that is purposely harassing everyone with, the, it was just ridiculous things and builds on them and stuff. And um, we've had, we've had several abuse reports responded to and they were removed, but she just puts the things right back and, you know, now she's got several lots on the sim now with Christmas decorations and playing Christmas carols and stuff that is heard all over the sim. Um, and we just did a brief abuse report on 
20 houses stacked up, three-story houses stacked up, going up into the air and stuff. Why can't we get this stopped? I mean, it, 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 there's been, I think the last time it was um, Tommy Linden even came out and looked and, and removed, I mean, he removed a lot of her prims and stuff. And, you know, I thought he talked to her, too. Um, what, what can we do to get this stopped? I mean, we've all lost our tenants. You know, so we've, had, we've got these lots that we've been sitting on for, you know, a decade that we can't use anymore and, or the tenants can't rent anymore. How can we get this stopped? Well, that, definitely, that definitely would be something for the governance meeting more than a year. Um, I am sorry that that's going on, um, but... Uh, that's going to be governance, and that will be Tommy and so forth. Um, yeah. Might want to take care of the governance meeting and see what they have to say about it. It always bans said person yeah, and kick I'm them off the that. sim. I mean, we don't uh, in support. We're sort of like, um, I guess the best way I put it, we're, we're like the the plumbers <laughs> versus versus the police. Well, could you flush this toilet? <laughs> oh, I, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming too, but that's why I said it. I was going to say more like the, the person at the front or whatever. Like that. Thank you. I'll, I'll do more abuse reports. Thank you. But so yeah, well, like I was again, also go to the governance meeting and discuss I'll that. I'll do more Ed. abuse reports. Um, I'll message Tommy, which he, he told me last time to do, and I've done it twice since. And, uh, and he, you know, she still just keeps coming back and not stopping. Um, we think that she's trying to buy all the lands on the sim. Hey, Celeste, you want my new... You want my nuke bomb in my suitcase? No, I want a teddy bear. I've never had a teddy bear. And I've been on here like 15 years. I never figured out how to get a teddy bear. Uh, give me a second, Celeste, and I'll send one to you. Oh, all say, right. Thank you. I think they're about to be bombarded with bears in a second. Oh, yeah. I'll take them. <laughs> I've never gotten one. No, I right. have one. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I actually kind of have an important question that might actually apply to you people. My wife's asked it a few times in local, but she was wondering who was in charge of the sim development. Thank you. What do you mean Thank with you. regards to sim development? I will read the head developer specifically. It used to be Oscar Linden. Honestly, I don't have that information. Hmm. Wait, uh, Wendy Vix? I'm not in front of me. Well, thank you very much for attempting to answer. Why are you for the perplexing question? No, oh my goodness, the static. Are they okay? Celeste, are you okay? I hope they're all right. Poor thing. That's what Taser sounds like. Yeah, I think if you can give us some more details of what exactly you're talking about with like region development, we might be able to answer that better. That's kind of a wide, very broad topic. <sighs> oh, I think they tried their best to answer it, but basically um, I was asking who the head developer of land development was, and it used to be Oscar Linden. Are you talking mainland? Are you talking private regions? Uh, server software, to be specific.
but she doesn't mean as in land as in actual prim uh, development. She means the park I was in charge of. Yes, exactly. Okay, yeah, um, there hasn't, I think somebody said something about this earlier. There hasn't been someone that's moved into Oz's spot just as of yet. Ah, uh, okay. I suppose that makes sense. Thank you very much. You're yeah. welcome. Well, that's our time, guys. Uh, I appreciate everyone for coming out, and um, this was a blast, and we'll see you all June 23rd, our next meeting. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye, everyone. It was great to meet you. Bye, everybody. It was coming. really nice meeting you. Thank you for coming. Thanks, com everyone. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> Thank you for having us. See you next time, the Lindens. Bye-bye.